Well, good morning. Today is Monday, February 11th. And you drive me crazy. <laughs> no, you don't. I probably drove you crazy today with all my videos. But I guess I had something to say on a Sunday. <laughs> I usually don't. We did get some snow, not a much. Maybe, eh, I don't know, maybe an inch, if that. I don't even think it's an inch. I love snow. I really do love snow. The only thing I don't like is it, it keeps me from walking because I don't know if there's ice underneath it. And uh, I had a phone call there. Um, I can see that there's ice underneath the snow. So, I plan on getting some new tires in a couple weeks because uh, I'm, one, I'm one of the 1 in 10 that's going to get a refund, which I was surprised. Um, Denise isn't getting, well, she's getting a small refund, smaller than last year. Jimmy's is smaller than last year. Uh, I'm trying to think of who else. Somebody else had told me. Mary, my sister Mary, hers is smaller than last year. So I was surprised. You know, everybody kept telling me that, and I'm thinking, oh. So I got just about as much as I got last year. So that's good. I know you're supposed to. I I hear all of you frugal. No, what is it? Like Kelly over at Freedom on a Budget or in a Budget. That, you know, like you're really letting the government keep your money. And I understand that, but I've told you before, Jim and I are not savers this is our savings account so we get one big purchase every year for money that we let the government hold interest free and I'm never gonna stop I that's just who I am I know that so you just gotta know who you are and I did pretty good yesterday I had the grilled chicken sandwich which was very good but, you know, like anything you get out is full of sodium. So I do feel a little bloated today. And uh, I did have a can of Coke with it. Or Pepsi. I had Pepsi. I didn't have Coke. I had Pepsi. Well, oh, and the fries. But, you know, there weren't that many fries. You know, like they say endless fries. Well, it's only endless fries if you eat out there. But uh, when you take them home, I think there was probably maybe... 10 fries if that which was enough it was more than enough and that really that sandwich filled me up for the whole day so that was good and then uh, Mary came over and she made uh, she makes a really good I don't even know what you call it I think she calls it a chimichanga I don't know what it is but it's a uh, shredded chicken it's a chicken breast shredded chicken and she puts it in a burrito shell and then you just kind of uh, grill it on the stove so I'm going to have that for dinner. So I think really my only points will be the... If I have some salsa... Maybe I'll, I can't go to Kroger's anyhow. Maybe I'll buy some salsa. I'll put salsa on it instead of sour cream. Yeah, that's what I think I'll do. I'm going to put some salsa on it. And uh, so I'll just have to basically just cut out the uh, burrito. And then maybe get some refried beans for the side. Oh, there, there's my sour cream. Though. I always put a little bit of sour cream on my... But you know what? I think that's a, it's within points, and so that's what I can do. I, uh, I, I'm just really... I know this is sad to say, but when I really look back at my um, tracker from when I first started um, Weight Watchers, because it was Weight Watchers back then, I do find that I think I was hungry. I think psychologically, and I know it's not the right way to approach this program, but psychologically, I think I need to be hungry. And I know that's, I hear you. I hear you. That's not the point of it. I understand that. I completely understand that. But my mindset that I, is I need to be hungry. And I don't know if I need to do that just for a week, just to remind myself that, you know, I don't have to do that. You know, I'm always trying something, and I know that I should just stick with what works. But that's what works. Because I looked at it, and I didn't eat very much. I really didn't eat very much. I had my fruit and I had my salads. I ate a lot. If you followed me for a while, you'll remember that. I ate a lot, a lot, a lot of salads. And that's probably why I was always so hungry. But I don't want to do that again. I don't want to be hungry. 
So it's a, I'm in a conundrum. Conundrum? Conundrum. I'm in a conundrum. I don't know what to do. I know that I don't want to be hungry, but I know that sometimes that's what I need to do to get my mindset turned around and get me back on track. I don't know. I'm going to read, I'm going to think on that one. I'm really, really going to think on that one. But, uh, so, I don't know if I told you we're going to get birdie. Because we have finally going to have our water aerobics. We were getting a little worried because there was a storm coming in. And originally it was supposed to come in tomorrow night. So it looked like we wouldn't be able to go on Wednesday. And, um, but it, it kind of is ahead of schedule. So it's supposed to come tonight. And so we're supposed to get uh, freezing rain and ice and blowing snow and uh, all that good stuff tonight so that if there's no school it will be tomorrow night which is Tuesday which there is no swim on Tuesdays but I forgot how hard it is to get your bathing suit on after you get out of the shower you know because even though you dry off you're still a little moist I know my, my daughter hates that word moist uh, but you're a little wet still as much as you try to dry yourself off you're still a little damp and then you're like shimmying so I got I got a couple of, what do you call it, aerobics in before I even left the bathroom trying to get that suit on. Oh well. Um, I have, don't have any birthdays to celebrate today. It just seems like, you know, I know today, though, is a sad day because my brother-in-law, Bruce, passed away nine years ago, no, ten, ten years ago today. February 11th, 2009. I was thinking it was 10, but no, it was 2009. And, uh, was it 9? I think it was 10. I, I'm going to have to check on that. Because this is also the day that uh, Christy found out that she was going to have Sophia. And Sophia's going to be 9 this year. Yeah, so it's, it's been 9 years. Hmm. He was such a nice guy. He took such good care of my sister Sue. I could just go on and on and sing the praises of Bruce because he was he was so nice. But he was in the same regards he was an odd duck. But he was a nice odd duck. He was the odd duck you wanted to be around. He just was he was such a good guy. He really was. And I just have so many good memories of <laughs> my sister and him when they got married. They didn't uh, tell anybody. They just went to the Justice of the Peace and got married. And then her, my sister's best friend Judy gave her a party in her basement. And I remember her dad, his name was Stan, came down. Not her dad, um, Bruce's dad, Stan, came down. And um, so we were, he said, what are we celebrating? What are we celebrating? And I, and I said, well, Bruce and Sue got married. He said, no. <laughs> and he was the father of the groom and he didn't even know. <laughs> it was just... And then Bruce would go through different periods. Like, at one stage, he looked like a homeless man. He just let, let his hair go really, really long. And he just, just like, and people would see him and they would thought he was homeless. And then the next time you'd see him, he'd be all clean shaven and his hair's all cut. And it was just, I don't know, he was just such a good guy. And every year, without fail, he would bring me a bouquet of roses for Thanksgiving. Every year. And if he couldn't make it for whatever, he'd stop by and he'd bring me a bouquet of, of not roses, but of flowers, a bouquet of flowers. And uh, and his son Ricky now carries on that tradition for him because every year, whether Ricky's going to be there or not, or Rich, Rich he goes by Rich. He's always going to be Ricky to me. But uh, Rich, um, he always he always brings me flowers. And Kathleen, his daughter, always gives me love. And Kathleen knows this, that we've had our differences in the past, and I so admire her because she's, I wouldn't be friends with me sometimes, I think, because I was so mean to her. And I look back with such regret that I did that. But I love Kathleen with all my heart, and there's nothing in the world I wouldn't do for Kathleen. And she's just a, a fine young woman, and she's turning into a great young woman. And I'm really proud of her. I really, really am proud of Kathleen. And I know that her dad is looking down on her from heaven and is so proud of her. My 
would just know it. But stop it, Kathleen. You're going to make me cry. <laughs> so, anyway, and we all know I don't like to cry. All right. Oh, I forgot to give Bertie her, her notice. See, you got me babbling. Now I got to talk. But anyway, I love you, Bruce. Okay, talk to you later. Well, we haven't seen her in a while. No. It's been about a week. It's been about a week since we've seen you. Yes, a week. Oh, yeah, we went out to dinner. We went to lunch. Oh, yeah, we went to lunch. Yes. Well. Hello, my friend. They would be disappointed. Hello. It's cold. How come we're on Oh, he works in the afternoon. He works in the afternoon. We got snow. I don't know where you guys are at, but we got snow. No, Wisconsin and Minnesota. They got snow. <laughs> they got snow. They got lots of snow. They got more snow than us. We haven't been in swimming. About a month. Easily. They're going to not know who we are. Between the between the school closing, no lifeguard, and we had something going on, we haven't been. I'm sure they'll remember us, I hopefully. Yes, but we may not be going on Wednesday because we're supposed to have ice tonight. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. We'll see. All right. Bye. Came back from water aerobics, and as you can see, I have fruit, but less. So I started my day with a prayer. I drank 50 ounces of water. My quote is, with a new day comes new strengths and new thoughts. 23 points, zero for my cup of berries, my half a banana, my half a grapefruit, tea, water, and my egg. Three points for my you know, Thomas's English multigrain muffin and one point for a laughing cow cheese. Four points, so I have 19 points left for dinner. Okay, here's my dinner. Um, Mary made the chimichanga for me, whatever. That's what she calls it. So I have um, zero for the chicken because it's a shredded chicken breast. My tea, my water's in the other room, and my fat-free refried beans. Three points for my guacamole. Three points for my ole wrap. Four points for a quarter cup of cheese. And three points for two tablespoons of sour cream. Oh, my salsa was zero also. I forgot to add that. So it's 13 points. I still have six left. I'm going to try this holy guacamole and see how I like it. So I added the salsa. Let's go eat. Well, whatever that thing is that my sister makes, we always call it a chimichanga, but I don't think it is. But I called her up to ask her the, her ingredients that she put in it. Well, she does put cheese in it too, and she told me how much cheese she put in it. So my six points that I thought I had extra, no, not so much. But I still stayed within my points. That's all that matters. I stayed within my points. Um, if you watched my video from earlier today about the uh, 10, health, 10, 10 things you should do to keep yourself healthier after 60, <laughs> I think that's the name of it. Um, one of the things was to get up and down off the floor, and I told you I was going to try to see if I could do it. I was a little leery, <laughs> I have to admit, because... I honestly can't remember the last time I actually sat on the floor. I really, isn't that sad? I really can't remember. But I'm happy to report that I not only got down on the floor, I was able to get back up. It was like my major accomplishment for the day, for the week, for the my last couple of years, I guess, because uh, I really was a little leery about getting down there. I had the phone with me, just in case. But I think I'm going to try to do that at least once a day. For a while just to make sure I can do it. You wouldn't think simple thing like that getting up and down off the floor but I have to tell you I was a little nervous about doing it. But anyway and then I was talking to an old friend that I haven't talked to in a while and, and I said you know I'm gonna be 69 this year and then it just kind of hit me oh my gosh I'm gonna be 69 this year it's like I'm old but I'm not I'm not old I don't feel old I really don't feel old so I know they say age is just a number, but it's really not just a number. But it is really how you look at how you feel and, you know, how you treat that age. And I, I just never think about it. You know, like when I look, I always like when you see cartoons when people say, look at that old couple in the mirror. And then the, like the husband and wife are saying, look at that old couple in the mirror. And then the wife says, that's us. <laughs> that's how I feel sometimes. And then like I see people and I think, oh, they look old. Do I look that old? And then, you know what? I do. But... I don't feel that old, and that's all that really matters. I don't feel old. I can, you can, I can, I have no problem telling anybody I'm 68. I really don't have any problem with it. I do have, you know, like I don't go around 
I don't go announcing my weight to people or how old I am or anything like that. But if somebody was to ask, I'll tell them. So, okay, um, gonna watch some TV tonight. <laughs> I do that every night. You know that. We're supposed to get. Um, it's supposed to start. How is it gonna work? It's supposed to start with snow, and then it's turned to drizzle rain. Then it's going to turn to sleet. Then it's going to turn to ice, and then it's going to go back to snow, and then it's going to go to rain. Michigan! <laughs> okay, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow, so give this video a like. Leave a comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you guys tomorrow.